Hey everybody, how's it going today? As you can see, it's a beautiful foggy day here on the Avalon Peninsula. Typical, right? Well, this is supposed to clear off in a couple hours. At least that's my hope. So right now, I'm uh, on my way to uh, Spoon Cove. I don't know if you've ever been there before. It's up uh, past Upper Island Cove, so it's quite a scenic area as long as the fog lifts. Uh, we'll get to see it. And if you're not familiar with the area, it's uh, pretty much northeast of Bay Roberts. So that's, uh, that's where we're headed today. So sit back and enjoy the, uh, enjoy the ride, enjoy the views. We'll see. Maybe I'll talk, maybe I won't. It depends on the mood I'm in. So uh, anyway, enjoy. So something that you non-riders might be wondering about. On days like this, like you see my windshield, it's full of fog, mist, or whatever. And there's plenty of days when we're out riding in the rain and it's just pouring over us. And we don't have wipers. <laughs> so how do we see? Well, here's the little trick. You can't really tell because of the location of my uh, camera. It's down on my chin, but if it was eye level, you'd notice that my eyes are just glazing over the uh, over the top of my windshield so I'm not seeing all of this in front of me it's not obstructing my view well it is but I don't look down in front of the motorcycle anyway unless I'm in a parking lot or slowed right down because for the most part you're looking forward where you're going but then when you get all the water on your mask or on your shield how do you get rid of that? Well, it's a very simple trick. You just lean your head out into the wind and the wind clears it right off. So I thought I'd share that with you while I'm uh, cleaning my shield off in this lovely foggy ride. A little thick today. We'd have to slow down 10K. Well, for those who aren't familiar with this area, we are now in Spaniards Bay. It's just one of the uh, smaller communities that you got to pass through. On our way to Spoon Cove, or Upper Island Cove. And so far the fog hasn't lifted. What's up with that? Actually, I'm in the wrong spot. I think it's down here. Bishop's Cove, Upper Island Cove. This part of our journey looks like it's Bishop's Cove. I don't know. 
I'm sure I've been here before, but never really paid attention. Oh, I wish my forecast was right and that fog was all lifted. Fog isn't as thick over that way, so that's a good thing. It is lifting. I'm not sure if this is still Bishop's Cove or not. I haven't seen another sign saying otherwise. For sale. Who wants to buy a church? There we are. Upper Island Cove. We made it. Although we're going to Spoon Cove. Community Garden. Nice looking community, the way everything is all spread out. So this is my tradition. When we go through the community, that's my destination. I give you the full tour, not just a few clips. So some of it's probably boring, but I don't really care. <laughs> I like boring, I like laid back, I like peaceful, I like tranquility. Boring is right up my alley. And besides, it's only four minutes, roughly, from the time I hit record until we reach our destination. Upper Island Cove Fire Hall. Now my fingers are crossed that that wharf that I sat on last time is still accessible. We'll see. I'm not sure if that's straight ahead. It kind of looks like it might be. Because the last time I came that direction. Yeah, here's my spot. Hearst House. Oh, they got it blocked off now. Last time I was here, you could actually uh, get out a little further. But this is going to be my coffee spot right now, I think. Yeah, I've been here before, so I'm going to enjoy it again. Reminisce about days before. <laughs> so as far as I know this area is Spoon Cove. I could be wrong. It's all part of Upper Island Cove though I'm pretty sure. I don't really know my geography of this area. I don't spend enough time up here. But anyway I'm gonna give you a tour. I will get the drone up as well eventually. But I'll give you a walk around. Show you what this place is like.
And this is why I'm willing to ride an hour just to sit back and have a coffee. The last time I was here, there was a walkway that took you all the way down. Okay, it's still there. I seen the wood over that way and thought it was washed out, but it's still there. Little slipway. Since there's warnings up not to come out here, I won't be long. But the last time I was out, I had to take a picture of this. This said, why are you so obsessed with me, if I remember correctly? So I took these pictures as well, of these alien-like, ghost-like graffiti. Well, I'm gonna get a little coffee going. Get that going right away. Warm up, because it's cooler than it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be 17 degrees, and it's about 8, so that's a, that's a little difference. <laughs> oh well, I, uh, I'm almost dressed for it. So, I'm a little chilly, but uh, coffee will be just what I need to get me uh, perked up. No, uh, no pun intended there with perking. Brought a snack this time. Got a banana and a chocolate protein bar. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to eat first because chocolate is usually a dessert, but protein is usually a main course. And a banana, well, that's kind of a snack in between. So I'm competing with snacks right now. So we shall see which one will go first. Priorities though. I gotta get this coffee going. I think that's it. Nope. Gotta have my coffee. Yes, I had to put my uh, hood up, block some wind. As I mentioned in another video, I tend to lose a lot of heat through my head because I got a big head. Looks pretty good, I think. Need a whistle so I can hear it. All right, got to do the traditional taste test with the scenic background. Oh, it's warm, very hot, but it's nice. And the coffee's not too strong. It's uh, 
It's probably just the amount of caffeine I'm going to need to get me back home. So it's perfect. Cheers. God, I love places like this. It's, it's amazing. Love it. Might as well walk over there and walk on those rocks and walk on that beach. What do you say? You got nowhere to go right now, do you? Once I'm done this stroll and I get my drone clips, I'm probably going to continue back out that road a little ways just to see what's out there. So I haven't been all the way out there. And that's, that's what I do. I meander. <laughs> the meandering Newfoundlander, right? All right, let's have a look at a boat. Got to have a look at a boat while we're here. Sorry, it's not in the water, but it's a boat. I wonder when the last time this thing was used. All right, let's go down this way. See if we can get wet. I imagine what this place is like on a rough day. But today it's uh, pretty calm. Can I beat the waves? Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, look, there's my coffee shop all the way over there. All right, back over. Glad I got hiking shoes on. They tend to have a little bit more traction than what I usually wear. Ah, made it. Trying to escape that. You guys must be some bored watching me do this when you can come out and do it yourself. <laughs> First I thought that was Donnie, but it says Dooney. I think that's what it is, Dooney. Not sure what that means. Rhymes with Goonie. Uh, sit down for a couple minutes first before I fly my drone. This beats Florida any day. I'll take this over any hot beach. Especially with crowds of people.
I mean, just listen to those waves crashing off those rocks and off the wharf. I could just close my eyes now and have a nap. All gone. Time for the drone. But I just don't want to move. I just want to sit here. I'll eat my protein bar first before I get my drone up. That's what I'll do so I can sit here a little longer. Good old pure protein from Costco. Love these guys. Although chocolate is my least favorite. My favorite is the peanut butter one. And then it's that other one, it's like a mocha kind of a flavor. But yeah, the chocolate, the triple chocolate is my least favorite. But I'm, uh, I'm scrounging today, so I gotta settle for a chocolate. It's almost like having dessert before my fruit. Yeah, it's just, it's a weird combination. Chocolate protein bar and a banana, I know. Although chocolate, no, never mind, that wouldn't work. I was thinking about it like a banana smoothie kind of a thing with uh, with chocolate, but no, I'm I'm gonna shut up now and just eat my chocolate. Getting a few little splashes there. Nothing too crazy though. Guess what? It's drone time. As long as the fog doesn't come back in and get too thick, I should be good. Because the moisture from the fog, you see what it does on my windshield. It does the same thing on the lens of the... Uh, of the drone and it gets inside the battery and all that stuff so I got to be careful what I do with it but I think I should be okay the fog is not too thick today so I'll do it now before it does get thick you can watch me set up first though can't leave all the excitement out. My neck strap, because I do like to pace around when I'm flying my drone. And for some reason, when my drone is in the air, if I rotate it, I rotate my whole body and follow it. It's, uh, it's kind of funny. It's almost like one of those people with those virtual reality goggles on. Maybe yeah, that's what I need for this thing, is a... Uh, out of those goggles so I can do first person point of view FPV is that what they call it actually no I'm not interested in that I'm just going to uh, do what I like to do a few random shots of communities Crazy how technology came though. I mean, like this little compact thing. It's uh, it's perfect for what I what I need it for. All right, let's get this on the go. Goodbye, drone.
I hope you enjoyed those clips because uh, I certainly enjoyed taking them. It's a scenic area. It's a lovely area here. I'd love to come back some night with a tent and camp out somewhere if I could only find a spot. <sighs> That's the thing. I have a hard time deciding where to actually set up. I want to avoid campgrounds and just camp along the ocean somewhere, along the coast, in a field or whatever. I want nothing to do with crowded parks. Anyway, I'm going to start packing up. Well, that's it for Spoon Cove, Upper Island Cove, although I am going to go continue on out that road a little bit. But I hate leaving this spot. This is beautiful. Anyway, come here and check this place out. It's, uh, yeah, I'm a broken record. I'll shut up now. I think I got everything. <laughs> All right. Let's go and explore up there. Because I haven't been there. Oh, that's the Legion. <clears throat> See, I couldn't leave and turn left without finishing off Upper Island Cove. And you'll be happy to know that I actually wiped off my windshield, cleaned off most of that uh, water. <laughs> That's it. I'm done cleaning the bike for another couple of years now. I wonder, would you be allowed down there to uh, camp? I suppose it's just a matter of asking one of the locals who owns it. Not like I'd be hurting anything. Longshore Lookout is what's up this way. Longshore lookout. How far out does it go? Probably not far. Probably just right there. Oh, the lookout's there, sure. There, good spot to come and hang out sometime for coffee. 
I'm going to get out and show you this. Um, it's like they have up in Signal Hill all the different um, cities on different parts of the world. St. John's, Skander, Ottawa, Goose Bay, Orlando, Belle Island, London, Halifax, Dublin, New York, Paris. You tidy, poor day out, my babby, you're a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> they got all these labels on the back of the benches. Yeah, so if you're looking for a destination, just look up Longshore Lookout. And by the looks of it, there's a nice hiking trail right there as well that uh, you could take advantage of and enjoy. I see a cross over that way, so there's probably a cemetery there. All right, let's turn around on Gravel Road. And I'm not going to pause the video so that way we can witness the struggles. <laughs> high traffic area. All right, now we can say we completed Upper Island Cove. And Spoon Cove. <laughs> yeah, I love discovering these little communities. Good way to kill a couple hours today. It's only 1.30. How long before I get home? Let's see what my Google Maps tells me. One hour and nine minutes. 98 kilometers. Well, at least the fog lifted, and maybe the forecast is right. I just came out a bit too early. If I had waited another couple hours, probably would have got sunshine. Look at that. That's where I was, just down there. Just trying to take me that way. I'm going to go this way to see what's out here. I'm going to ignore Google Maps for a little bit. I flew the drone out here, but I didn't ride my bike, so... Besides, I could end up finding a camping spot. Actually, I did come this way. Never mind. But it looks beautiful on the way back, too. The dog wants to kill me. <laughs> So I apologize because most likely this video turned out to be longer than I wanted. I was hoping to start getting my videos less than a half an hour. I'd like to even get them down to 20 minutes. But 
I can't do this province justice with a 20 minute video. And here we are, back to that garden we passed earlier. Robert John Clark Community Garden. All right, we are now leaving Upper Island Cove, because as you can see, there's a sign right there that says, Welcome to Bishop's Cove again. So on that note, I'm going to sign off. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the scenery, the ride, my mumbling. And I'm looking forward to my next ride. And uh, hopefully you'll be tagging along with me for that one too. So anyway, take care of yourselves. It's what? Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Party it up. Spend time with your family. Get out and ride. Do whatever it is you got to do to settle your brain down, settle your mind down, and ground yourself. I, I know I'm talking like some kind of guru here now or something, but that's what you got to do, and that's why I'm out here, because this is my, my zen time. So anyway, I'm blabbing again. So on that note, take care of yourselves. And again, enjoy your weekend.